is a Kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from mathematical induction so let's get started problem using the principle of mathematical induction prove that 1 by 3 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 9 plus so on plus 1 by 2 n plus 1 into 2 n plus 3 equals 2 n by 3 into 2 n plus 3 solution so we have to prove this statement is true for all n belongs to natural numbers okay let the given statement be p of n then p of n such that 1 by 3 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 7, plus 1 by 7 into 9, plus so on, plus 1 by 2n plus 1 into 2n plus 3 equals to n by 3 into 2n plus 3. So here we have n terms, first term, second term, third term plus so on, nth term equals to n by 3 into 2n plus 3. So in the LHS we have n terms, okay, consider nth term tn equals to 1 by 2n plus 1 into 2n plus 3, if you put n equals to 1, you will get t1. 2 into 1 is 2 plus 1 into 2 into 1, 2 plus 3 equals to 1 by 2 plus 1, 3 into 2 plus 3, 5. Likewise, if you put n equals to 2, you will get the second term. 2, 2 is a 4 plus 1 into 2, 2 is a 4 plus 3 equals to 1 by 4 plus 1, 5 into 4 plus 3, 7. The second term, right? So here, we'll show that the statement is true for n equals to 1. We'll show that n equals to p of n is true for n equals to 1. That is p of 1 is true. And if you want, we can prove for n equals to 2. Okay. And we'll assume that that statement is true for n equals to k. And finally, we'll show that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. Okay. When n equals to 1, Take the first term, 1 by 3 into 5, equals to 1 by 3, 5 is 15, okay, for LHS. From LHS, you got 1 by 15. And coming to RHS, when you put n equals to 1, you'll get 1 by 3 into 2 into 1, 2, plus 3, equals to 1 by 3 into 2 plus 3 is 5. Again, 1 by 3 pi is 15. So here LHS equals to RHS. From this we can say that P of n is true for n equals to 1. That is P of 1 is true 
Likewise, we can prove for n equals to 2. When n equals to 2 from LHS, take two terms, the first two terms, sum of the first two terms. 1 by 3 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 7 equals to 1 by 3, 5 is 15 plus 1 by 5 times 35. Okay. Take the LCM of 15 and 35. 5 3 is a 15, 5 7 is a 35, 3 1 is a 5 3 is 15, 15 into 7, 7 5 is 35, 7 1 is a 7, 7 plus 3 10, 1 out 5. The numerator you will get 7 plus 3. This is equals to 10 by 105. 5 2 is a 5 21 is a. So 2 by 21. Now coming to RHS. Put n equals to 2. 2 2 is a 4 plus 3 equals to 2 by 3 into 4 plus 3 is 7. This answer 21. So you got 2 by 21. So here LHS equals to RHS. Okay. So from this we can say that P of N is true. Therefore, P of n is true for n equals to 1. Sorry, for n equals to 2, that is P of 2 is true. Okay, you can also check for n equals to 3, 4 and 5 and so on. Fine. Now, assume... Assume P of n is true for n equals to for some k belongs to n is true or assume that P of n is true for n equals to k that is for some k which belongs to natural numbers then p of k is such that 1 by 3 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 9 plus so on plus 1 by 2k plus 1 into 2k plus 3 equals to k by 3 into 2k plus 3. Okay. Well, now let's prove for n equals to k plus 1. First we consider k plus 1 terms of LHS. k plus 1 term. 1 by 3 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 7. Plus 1 by 7 into 9 plus so on plus 1 by 2k plus 1 into 2k plus 3 plus 1 by 2 into k plus 1 for k equals to k plus 1. We are writing k plus 1 term into 2 into k plus 1 plus 3. Since P of K is true, so you can replace the first sum of K terms by 
k by 3 into 2k plus 3. Okay. So, we'll get k by 3 into 2k plus 3 plus the last term 1 by 2 into k is 2k plus 2 into 1, 2 plus 1 into 2 into k, 2k plus 2 into 1 plus 2 plus 3. This equals to k by 3 into 2k plus 3 plus 1 by 2k plus 2 plus 1, 3 into 2k plus 2 plus 3, 5. Okay? So, in both the terms we are having 2k plus 3 in the denominator, right? So you can write it as 1 by 2k plus 3 into k by 3 plus 1 by 2k plus 3 into 1 by 2k plus 5. So that it's easy to take 1 by 2k plus 3 common from these two terms. So, this equals to, I'll take 1 by 2k plus 3 common from the two terms. Then you'll get 1 by 2k plus 3 into k by 3 plus 1 by 2k plus 5. You can write it as 1 by 2k plus 3 into k into 2k plus 5 plus 3 by 3 into 2k plus 5. This becomes k into 2k is 2k square plus 5 into k, 5k plus 3 by 2k plus 3 into 3 into 2k plus 5. So in the numerator you are having a quartic expression, right? Quartic equation I can say. 2k square plus 5k plus 3. So you can write it as 2k square split this 5k to 2k plus 3k plus 3. So from these two you can take 2k common then you'll get 2k into k plus 1 and from these two you can take 3 common you'll get 3 into k plus 1. Again you have k plus 1 in both the terms so take k plus 1 common and get k plus 1 into 2k plus 3. Okay, now we can replace the numerator by k plus 1 into 2k plus 3. Since 2k squared plus 5k plus 3 equals to k plus 1 into 2k plus 3. So this becomes k plus 1 into 2k plus 3 by 3 into 2k plus 3 into 2k plus 5. So here 2k plus 3 gets cancelled. This equals to k plus 1 by 3 into 2k plus 5. So you have to get RHS in terms of k plus 1, right? In the numerator you have k plus 1 but in the denominator you have return in terms of k. So we'll change it in terms of k plus 1. Okay.
2k plus 5 you are having. So you could write it as 2k plus, you have to write in terms of 2n, that is 2 into k plus 1, for n equals to k plus 1. Is equals to 2k plus 2, right? So we can split this 5 to 2 plus 3. Then take 2 common from these 2, you'll get 2 into k plus 1, and the third term as it is. So you can write this 2k plus 1 as 2 into k plus 1 plus 3. So this equals to k plus 1 by 3 into. 2 into k plus 1 plus 3. See? You got RHS in terms of k plus 1 for n equals to k plus 1. This shows that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. Therefore, P of k plus 1 such that 1 by 3 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 7 plus so on plus one by 2n plus 1 into 2n plus 3 plus 1 by 2 into k plus 1 plus 1. For k plus 1 term, right? So you should not write and here. Into 2 into k plus 1 plus 3 is equals to k plus 1 by 3 into 2 into k plus 1 plus 3. Therefore, p of k plus 1 is true whenever p of k is true. Thus, p of 1 is true and p of k plus 1 is true whenever P of k is true. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, The given statement is true for all n belongs to natural numbers. So this completes the problem. We have seen a problem from mathematical induction in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.